is Connor Lyle, and I'm a current student at The Ohio State University, located in downtown Columbus. Um, as a person who has volunteered at local food banks, I have seen firsthand a need for better access to fresh produce, particularly in lower income urban communities. The growing movement to establish urban city gardens is a solution which I firmly support to combat the epidemic that is hunger and access to better nutrition within urban communities. Now, despite the existence of food assistance programs such as SNAP and the school lunch program, the problem of hunger still plagues many households. In a 2009 survey conducted by the U.S. Census Bureau on behalf of the Department of Agriculture found that, the, found that over 3% of Americans interviewed reported having uh, experienced extreme hunger in the previous 30 days. Now, as the study does not include homeless, or did not include the homeless or undocumented immigrants, this number is certainly higher. <clears throat> Overall, nearly 40 million people in America experience hunger and have difficulty feeding themselves. Of that 40 million, nearly 12 million affected are under the age of 18. Now, in Ohio itself, nearly 7% of households experience very low food security, uh, according to a 2015 report published by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, um, compared to the 5.4% national average, this puts Ohio in the bottom three states surveyed. Now, one solution that I see uh, to combating this epidemic is the construction of more, pub of more public urban gardens in areas at high risk of food insecurity. Now, in addition to producing the fresh produce, which we would expect, a study conducted by the University of California discovered that households that participated in community gardens not only increased their food security rates, but also saved families an average of $84 a month. Now, while this might not sound like a lot, over the course of a year, this amounted to over $1,000, which can be put towards either purchasing better produce at the store, um, or educational expenses, or other expenses that may arise throughout the year and won't cut into a family's budget for food. Uh, now, within Columbus itself, an organization called the Local Foods Columbus uh, is leading the fight to better educate, advocate, and increase the number of local gardens within Columbus, Ohio, and the greater central Ohio area, through partnering and sharing resources between current and upstart urban um, garden excuse me, urban garden groups. Um, now one of these projects, one of these groups is the Four Street Farms, a community run urban garden that provides education, employment opportunities, and increased access to healthy foods throughout the greater Columbus area. This group uh, has partnered with local businesses and community outreach groups, uh, included, including the Ohio State University and its purpose, as stated by community manager, Evelyn Van Til, is to build a more sustainable local food system within the greater Columbus area and to further the benefits of gardening to urban communities. Now, the added benefits of programs such as Forest Street Farms, those like it, include savings of nearly $1,000 estimated to participant community members, increasing the local community's food security and overall health with more easily available and more readily available fresh products and produce, and ultimately, um, create, ultimately creating more readily stocked food banks for which the greater community can draw upon, and finally, to have a more positive and direct personal exposure to the good that agricultural can do to, agriculture can do to all communities, um, even despite not being located in traditional agricultural areas, such as downtown Columbus or any major city. Thank you so much.